everyone and welcome back to my second channel so i just ran about six hours worth of errands i had to go to the mall to get stuff for my asmr channel because i'm doing a bunch of different role plays but i need props for them a lot of the time i'll just buy stuff and then return it for example i bought three pairs of shoes that i'm just gonna return i just showed them in the video and i return them so a little tip to save money there if you also do role plays or whatnot you don't actually need the props long term but amongst all of that shopping at winners the thrift store uh the shoe store lush all of these places i also went to sephora so i'll do a beauty haul at some point as well and the grocery store so i did a big grocery haul and i planned out a few yummy meals and as you guys know, um, I'm sure most of you, or if not all of you are from my ASMR channel, I am trying to recover with my ED. I relapsed really bad this year. Um, and so I'm trying to learn how to cook and also eat healthier foods just in general. So we've got some, some healthy, yummy foods. I am vegan and I don't wanna give that up in recovery. So I've got some yummy meal plan, yummy meals planned. I'll go through everything I got because I know a lot of you guys love grocery hauls and I'll tell you guys my plans for meals. Okay, so this is in no particular order. I've just got three big bags of groceries here. First up, I got Stone Mill Bakehouse Naturally Fermented Sprouted Three Grain Bread. This is really high in fiber and omega-3, basically healthy bread, I think. Lots of stuff in it, good stuff in it, flax and whatnot. So got that because I plan on having avocado toast. Got some makeup items here because I've been getting my mom makeup for her birthday. So I have a big bag from Sephora. Apparently, I'm a Rouge member, so I got 20% off, but that also tells me I've spent too much money at Sephora this year. Okay, we got some teas because I actually have been getting way more into tea than lattes. I used to always get lattes from Starbucks, for example, but now I just don't do that because the lattes make me sick and also Starbucks is just so expensive. I can no longer justify spending $8 for a latte. So I got some yummy teas. We have English breakfast, chai, and I also got Earl Grey vanilla. thought that one sounded good. I'm also doing a uh, British friend invites you over for tea roleplay on my ASMR channel, so I'm excited for that. Okay, in terms of some protein sources, I got some crispy chicken fingers. I wanted non-breaded chicken, but I couldn't find any. So these ones I'm gonna have tonight because I'm gonna make a crispy chicken Caesar salad. I got these Simply Eggless plant-based egg style patties. I thought these could be yummy on the avocado toast. And then I got maple, uh, bacon maple tempeh because I'm going to do a Mexican bowl with uh, tempeh in it as my protein source as well as beans. And the maple one sounded really yummy. Okay, for breakfast, I've been loving porridge with 100% uh, like maple syrup, Canadian grade A maple syrup and either bananas or blueberries and cinnamon. I have been obsessing over it. So this, uh, is the healthy grain blend porridge oats with no salt, no sugar, very high fiber, no additives. This has oat flakes, wheat bran, flaxseed, and oat bran. So that's what I've been having for breakfast. And then I got frozen blueberries either for my porridge or I've also been having a protein shake usually once a day or every other day. Um, with my lunch. So trying to really get in all my protein. Got some more makeup here to put in my mom's makeup kit for Christmas. Okay, then I got the Daya Creamy Caesar uh, Vinaigrette. I honestly just didn't have it in me to learn how to cook a vegan Caesar dressing. I'm sure it's easy. Didn't have it in me tonight. So I got that for tonight's dinner. And then as a quick uh, meal sometimes. It's always good to have these as backups. I got the organic plant-based chili. I'm excited to try that. And then these are my very favorite. Uh, these are the Heinz beans maple style. These aren't the health healthiest because they have a lot of sodium, but these are a yummy treat and I honestly just eat them right up the can. <laughs> a 
Okay, then I was really excited about this, but now looking back, I realize I forgot gravy. <laughs> but I thought one night I could try and make myself a little vegan like Thanksgiving dinner. For Canada, we already passed Thanksgiving, but I wasn't um, in Canada with my family to have Thanksgiving dinner, so I missed it. So I got these uh, lightly breaded turkey cutlets, you know, the fake turkey. And then I need to get vegetable gravy to have with that. And then I got some green beans and somewhere in here, I got potatoes to do roast potatoes. I'm really excited for that dinner. I got some no 50% lime sugar orange juice. I got some rosemary for the baked potatoes. And then, and then I got some, I think these are called angel hair noodles. They're rice stick vermicelli, but I think my mom calls them angel hair. Other, if they're not angel hair, then I got the wrong ones. But I like to have uh, poke bowls and I use these noodles instead of rice now. I just prefer it. Okay, let's go on to here. So I got some pastries. Now I'm not necessarily excited to have all of these pastries in the house because I am taking a lot of self-control to not binge them all um, because that's what I struggle with, uh, eating everything and then getting rid of it, if you know what I mean. So I'm really trying to have a lot of self-control. These are the Farm Boy plant-based pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. And then I also got, uh, where is it? The cravingly good super berry mini muffins that are vegan as well and then these plant-based cherry strudels now i got these specifically for that british tea party role play because i'm going to cut up all those pastries and display them nicely um but i think i'll just freeze them right after or something because i know if i keep them out on my counter it is not good for me so I'm gonna try and do something smart there and have some self-control. And then back onto other groceries. I got cinnamon for my porridge. I got some green grapes. These look so good and just look at the size of them. So I'm gonna wash those and have some as a snack tonight. Got some raspberries, they're my very favorite. Got red cabbage for my poke bowl. Some extra firm tofu for my poke bowl. Uh, this is always a good backup if I'm ever kind of feeling sick or my throat hurts or something. A vegan tomato basil soup. I got two oat milks. What was really weird is that all of the oat milk and vegan like section with all the vegan cream cheeses and vegan cheese and butter and all that was completely empty. Like all the shelves were empty. It was weird. And then I walked around the store a few times trying to see where they moved it, but they didn't move it anywhere. So I could only get the small ones, but it was really odd. And then I got some peanut butter because I was out. And then I'm also planning to do, I think I mentioned this, but yeah, the tempeh like Mexican bowl. So I got some black beans for that, some mango lime salsa, some salsa veld, some, where is it? Uh, this, the Mexican corn style to also put in it. So I'm really excited for that. Then I got another can of beans to just have as backup if I'm ever lazy one night and more green beans. Then I got some no sugar added jam. Okay, then I got some romaine lettuce. I need that tonight for my, whoa, there's a huge storm outside, uh, for my Caesar, chicken Caesar salad. I've never cooked this before, so hopefully it turns out yummy. And then I got some cilantro for my avocado toast and also that Mexican bowl, that'll be really yummy. Okay, I got in here mangoes for my poke bowl. Mango poke bowls are absolutely delicious. I highly recommend. Uh, and you also do need a really good like teriyaki sauce, which I have in my fridge, I think, I hope. Otherwise, I need to go buy one tomorrow. Got avocados for avocado toast, of course. And last but certainly not least, I have potatoes, just white potatoes and bananas. So a very good grocery haul lots of yummy healthy stuff and even though i've only been eating you know healthier for 
about a week and a half now. I already noticed the changes in my body, going to the washroom more regularly, not feeling as bloated, uh, more energy, overall just feeling happier and cravings. Like today when I was running all my errands, I was seriously out of the house for like five hours, which is a lot for me. Um, and normally by the end of that, I'm craving like McDonald's or just like ice cream or something like that, you know, something super unhealthy that, you know, is good in moderation. But the issue with me is I binge a lot of food and then, you know, get rid of it. That's my ED struggle. But today I was honestly just craving a salad. I was like, I cannot wait to go home and crunch on a Caesar salad and some grapes, some fruit. I was just craving that and also a big glass of water. So I'm already noticing those positive changes and I'm really happy with that. I've also been doing like Pilates and home workouts and it's just, I'm feeling so good and I'm really noticing the difference, a positive difference. And it's only been a week and a half, so that's a really good sign. Now I'm not saying that I will be 100% on track because obviously recovery is not linear and we have our slip ups. But I'm really trying here. I'm really trying, guys. It's not easy, but I'm doing it. Put all this stuff away, and then I'm going to show you guys my pretty full fridge. And then I'm going to make dinner, and I'll include a clip of that as well so you guys can see how dinner turned out. Hopefully it turns out good. Also, I used to be obsessed with Diet Coke. I was like a diehard Diet Coke girly. Uh, I recently found out there was cherry Diet Coke, Di Diet Dr. Pepper, like all things that. And then I recently read a bunch of stuff and found out that one of the biggest causes or like contributors, is that the word, to Alzheimer's is like diet pops because of the aspartame and just all the chemicals in it. So I'm trying to wean myself off of Diet Coke, which is super hard because if you are a diehard Diet Coke early, you know the struggle. You know the struggle, it is delicious. So I'm trying to not have that and uh, switch it out with water, which is not the same. It's not the same. And unfortunately, I do not like sparkling water. I think it is so yucky. Otherwise I would have sparkling water and you know, flavorings or something, but it's just not the same for me. Um, on a much more positive note though, when I was at Sephora today, I met a fan. Her name was Neve, which is a really pretty name. Uh, Christmas Neve. Oh, I that was so cute. And she was really nice and she had a lot of sweet words to say and she loved the 4C hair video I did. So I'm gonna do another one of those and it was just so nice meeting a fan. And I was like, have it. I had all of these shopping bags, like literally giant shopping bags because I was getting all these props for videos and she was like oh my gosh are you ocean and I was so embarrassed I had all these bags and I was like yeah but I'm, I'm buying a bunch of stuff for videos like kind rich girl role play but I'm gonna return it all but not the stuff from Sephora because that's for my mom but d yeah and I was like so embarrassed and nervous and I don't know why and she was like okay <laughs> anyways if you're watching this it was lovely meeting you um, but I'm gonna put this all away now. Okay, so we have the beautiful full fridge with the drinks. I never drink, I keep it in case I have a friend over forever. And I also forgot to show you guys, I got this organic beet hummus um, to put on the avocado toast too. Sometimes I thought that could be yummy. So, I also have a lot of the Tazo chai mix. My dad got me a ton when he went to Costco, which was really sweet. So yeah, we got a nice full fridge and freezer as well. Really yummy. I have some food for my friend as well. If she ever comes to stay over, I have her favorite ice cream and I have her gluten-free bagels. So it is a good haul there. And now I'm going to cook dinner. I would seriously look at these crepes. Are you kidding me? They're so good. That crunch. So we have here a vegan chicken Caesar salad. I realized that on Caesar salad, I think you're supposed to get cheese, but I didn't get vegan cheese, but still looks pretty good. And I tried the vegan Caesar dressing that I got and it is really yummy. 
Normally I don't love the Daya sauces, like I don't like the Daya ranch one, but this one is pretty good. Oh, I don't think I cut up my lettuce small enough. Oopsies. Okay, we got a bus bite. The chicken's still hot. That's really yummy. I can tell you the last time I had chicken Caesar salad or like Caesar salad years and years and years ago, probably when I was like 10 years old. Also look at this cup, it melted in the dishwasher. In the dishwasher, the heat was too, too strong for it, but she still stands, it's like a little pear. So that is tonight's meal, really yummy. Um, I don't know how nutritious it is because it's literally just lettuce and sauce, but at least the chicken that I picked has 20 grams of protein. So that is great. At least I'm getting some protein in and tomorrow morning I'll have some yummy porridge. And I think tomorrow, I don't know, I might do the Mexican bowl because the cilantro goes bad so fast. And unfortunately they didn't have smaller packets of it. So I might do that really yummy. But if I do that, maybe I'll do a cook with me or something else. I'm not sure. But as always, if there's any video, oh, as always, if there's any video requests, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.